The F-35 is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. The aircraft we know today as the F-35 was built to meet the demands of the multiple fighting forces with a single, highly capable aircraft. When the Clinton administration first conceived of the notion of a joint strike fighter in 1995, it was the ideal solution to a host of military challenges. The basic idea was a family of highly survivable tactical aircraft that could share common technology to accomplish a dozen different missions for three U.S. military services. The Air Force would use it to replace Cold War F-16 fighters in aerial combat, bombing of ground targets, and close air support of troops. The Navy would use it to extend the striking range of carrier-based aircraft. The Marines would use it to land on a dime anywhere expeditionary warfare was being waged. And everybody, including allies, would use it to collect vast amounts of intelligence that could be shared securely with coalition partners in future conflicts. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the F-35 fighter and see what makes it so unique. The F-35A was built by Lockheed Martin, and the first flight was on the 15th of December, 2006. The aircraft has three main variants, the conventional takeoff and landing, F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing, F-35B, and the carrier-based F-35C. The F-35B entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps in July of 2015, followed by the U.S. Air Force F-35A in August 2016, and the U.S. Navy F-35C in February of 2019. This lethal aircraft measures in at 51.4 feet long, 14.4 feet high, and has a wingspan of 35 feet. Its horizontal tail spans 22 and a half feet, and when empty, the aircraft weighs 29,300 pounds. In order to minimize the structural weight and complexity of assembly, the wing box section integrates the wing and fuselage section into one piece. To minimize radar signature, sweep angles are identical for the leading and trailing edges of the wing and tail. The fuselage and canopy have sloping sides. The seam of both the canopy and the weapon bay doors are sawtooth, and the aircraft includes canted vertical tails. The Marine variant of the Joint Strike Fighter is very similar to the Air Force variant, but with a slightly shorter range because some of the space used for fuel is used for a lift fan of the short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft propulsion system. The main differences between the Naval variant and the other versions of the Joint Strike Fighter are associated with carrier operations. The internal structure of the naval version is very strong to withstand the high stresses of catapult-assisted launches and tailhook-arrested landings. The aircraft has larger wing and tail control surfaces for low-speed approaches for carrier landing. Larger leading-edge flaps and foldable wingtip sections provide a larger wing area, which provides an increased range and payload capacity. The canopy, radar, and most of the avionics are common to the three variants. The center fuselage assembling process includes loading of an all-composite air inlet duct into a special tooling structure called a jig, followed by 18 major steps, such as bonding metal frames around the duct. The frame serves to brace and position the duct properly within the center fuselage. The F-35's mission systems are among the most complex aspects of the aircraft. The avionics and sensor fusion are designed to enhance the pilot's situational awareness, command, and control capabilities and facilitate network-centric warfare. The F-35 has the most advanced sensor suite of any fighter in history, including the Active Electronically Scanned Arrays Radar, which provides long-range intelligence, the Distributed Aperture System, which sends high-resolution, real-time imagery to the pilot's helmet from six infrared cameras mounted around the aircraft, the electro-optical targeting system, which combines forward-looking infrared and infrared search and track functionality, and the advanced helmet-mounted display system, which provides pilots with unmatched situational awareness in diverse conditions. The network-enabled ops serves as an information and a communications gateway, sharing its operational picture with the ground, sea, and air assets. The electronic warfare system has the capabilities to locate and track enemy forces, jam radars, and disrupt attacks. 
The F-35 carries weapons either internally, in stealth configuration, or externally, in permissible environments, with a max weight greater than 18,000 pounds of total ordnance. There are two internal weapon bays with four weapon stations. The two outbound stations each carry ordnance up to 2,500 pounds, or 1,500 pounds for the F-35B, while the two inboard stations carry air-to-air -air missiles. Air-to-surface weapons for the outboard station include the Joint Direct Attack Munition, Paveway Series of Bombs, Joint Standoff Weapon, and Cluster Munitions. The station can also carry multiple smaller munitions such as small diameter bombs and anti-tank missiles. The inboard station can carry the AIM-120 AMRAAM. Two compartments behind the weapon bays contain flares, chaff, and towed decoys. The aircraft can use six external weapon stations that do not require stealth. The wingtip pylons each can carry an AIM-9X or AIM-132 ASRAM and are canted outwards to reduce their radar cross-section. Additionally, each wing has a 5,000-pound inboard station and a 2,500-pound middle station, or 1,500 pounds for the F-35B. The external wing stations can carry large air-to-surface weapons that would not fit inside the weapon base. The F-35A is armed with a 25mm rotary cannon mounted internally near the left wing root with a 182 round capacity. The F-35B and F-35C have no internal gun and instead use a Terma AS multi-position pod carrying the GAU-22A and 220 rounds of ammunition. The single-engine aircraft is powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan rated at 43,000 pounds of thrust. Derived from the Pratt & Whitney F-119 used by the F-22, the F-35 has a larger fan and a higher bypass ratio to increase subsonic fuel efficiency. And unlike the F-119, is not optimized for supercruise. The engine contributes to the F-35 stealth by having a low observable augmenter, or afterburner, that incorporates fuel injectors into thick curved veins. These veins are covered by ceramic radar absorbent material and mask the turbine. Due to the engine's large dimensions, the United States Navy had to modify its underway replenishment system to facilitate at-sea logistics support. The glass cockpit was designed to give the pilot good situational awareness. The main display is a 20 by 8 inch panoramic touchscreen, which shows flight instruments, stores management, CNI information, and integrated caution and warnings. Below the main display is a smaller standby display. The cockpit has a speech recognition system, and instead of a heads-up display, all flight and combat information is displayed on the visor of the pilot's helmet. These helmets were made at a cost of $400,000 each. The ejection seat is launched by a twin catapult system housed on the side rails. For life support, an onboard oxygen generation system is fitted and powered by the integrated power package, with an auxiliary oxygen bottle and backup oxygen system for emergencies. The F-35 really is invisible to enemies. When an F-35 participates in training exercises, it typically defeats adversary aircraft at a rate of better than 20 to 1. It would do the same in wartime against Russian or Chinese fighters because it was designed to absorb or deflect radar energy, so opposing pilots can't see it before they are shot down. In addition, the F-35 is equipped with an advanced jamming system that tricks or suppresses hostile radar, both in the air and on the ground. Enemy radars might detect something in the distance, but they can't track it or target it. Also, an F-35's powerful turbofan engine masks and dissipates heat before heat-seeking missiles can home in. Hundreds of aircraft now designated F-35s are operational with 10 military services around the world. It took longer to come to fruition than originally planned, but in the end, the Joint Strike Fighter met its goals for survivability and versatility. That makes it one of the greatest engineering feats of the post-Cold War generation, a testament to the discipline and skill of the American aerospace industry.
A majority of America's most important allies have elected to replace their Cold War fighters with the F-35. These include Australia, Belgium, Denmark, Israel, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, and the United Kingdom, which we think says a lot about the uniqueness of the F-35. What do you think of the F-35 fighter? Do you think it's got what it takes? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.